I'm Ryan Schaefer of Japan America Society of Washington, D.C. This is Japan in Three. Skip Orr is retired U.S. Ambassador to the Asian Development Bank, who happens to be the longest tenured U.S. Ambassador under President Obama. Ambassador Orr has a long career in government and international business, as well as academia, including serving as the head of Boeing Japan and in senior leadership positions at Motorola in Japan and in Europe. Ambassador Orr, thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you. Why don't we start by telling us where you are? Well, I'm in my home here in uh, Kamakura, a very historic town. It was the site of the capital about 800 years ago. It's on the coast, so I'm, I'm originally from South Florida, and so it reminds me a lot of being in South Florida, except that there are mountains, and we don't have any mountains in Florida. Walk me through some of the mechanics of daily life under coronavirus. For me, the only problem is a little bit of boredom. I sit here almost all day and I go out for a walk once in a day. Sometimes I drive into Kamakura. Or what's your favorite spot to bring people to eat in Kamakura? Uzuki, where, where I took you. The reason I, I recommend it, it's local. You know, I mean, you can go to a big Japanese restaurant and whatnot, but you don't get the flavor of the locality. And there are not many foreigners who go there. You know, I brought the entire Asian Development Bank board there. And we closed the restaurant down just for us. And they were blown away. I mean, you know, 24 different nationalities. Uh, what, do, what do American big league players think about Japan? This is a serious baseball country. Everyone I talked to, they just enjoyed playing with the fans. They, they don't like the long flight, of course. But I mean, uh, but they, they got always get a real buzz out of playing in Japan. The first team to come here was uh, in uh, uh, 1935. And, and Babe Ruth was on the team. One of the players on the American team was a guy who was a catcher for the Boston Red Sox. But what no one really knew was he was taking pictures of the Tokyo skyline. He was a, also an Army intelligence agent. And those were the pictures that were used on the first bombing. Staying on sports for a sec, um, talk a bit about the Olympics and um, what it meant for Japan to, to decide ultimately to suspend the Olympics and what, what, what we can expect going forward. Well, it was, um, it was a hard one, but they also had a realization that, that they weren't going to have, there'd be a lot of people pulling out of the games. And, and uh, even though the economic impact is, is, is pretty severe, uh, and now, you know, the question is, will they go forward next year? Favorite Japanese-related movie to recommend to friends? Biruma no Tategoto, The Harp of Burma. And it's a very, very moving end of World War II film about a Japanese regiment in Burma as things are closing down. What do you think, once, uh, once we emerge from the other side, what are some of the things that will never go back to normal? Access, you know, through Zoom. But I don't think Japan is going to totally go as far as the U.S. in this way. Because for Japan, for Japanese, the whole Ningen Kanke thing is a, is a really big deal. Well, Ambassador Skip Orr, thanks so much for being with us today. That's Japan in 3 from Japan America Society of Washington, D.C. 